Good day, one and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Market Beast Edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking, and today we'll be going over a trio, three stocks: Works, W O R X. We're gonna go over M E T X. Not sure how to pronounce Metin something. I don't know how to pronounce it. M E T X. We're also going to be covering G H S I. These are the three stocks that we recently went over. We had some pretty bullish. Uh, targets on these stocks so i think it's worth us to stop in and get an update for you all and just if you're just stopping in welcome we just want to let you know that this is the markets that are experiencing some downwards pressure we actually posted a video february the 20 2021 it says will the market pull back next week we are in that week so we definitely are typically ahead of the crowd so we'd love for you to join us hit the subscribe button if you find any valuable information in the content loyal subscribers welcome back they've already been um expecting to see something like this in the market so let's not waste time and stop bragging i guess um and go ahead and dive Oh, the YouTube algorithm is promoting the channel. The your appropriate thumbs and comments. Thank you for that. We're, it's promoting the channel very well. So let's go ahead and dive into this to see what we have. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here, shall we? All right. So today's February the 23rd, 2021. And the previous close of work is going to be $2.25. It closed negative approximately 13.7% for the day. We're actually going to start with works. And uh, we're, what we're going to do is really simple. We're going to go over where the previous level of potential resistance, which it appears that works has already broken down below the previous level of resistance, which can be identified at about $2.33. So the next level as a potential uh, retracement area will be all the way down here at, let's see, a dollar and 87 cents. Let's see if we can pull up some different time frames. Maybe we can get a little bit better an idea of what could take place. So, I mean, if this market retraces, this wouldn't be out of the ordinary. Like if it's a much more deeper retracement, remember, this is a very dangerous stock to invest in. Uh, I think I've made it very clear to you all that this stock is in a downtrend. This is a counter trend play. If you are not experienced in, in buying into markets that have been going down and identifying a reversal, please don't touch these stocks. OK, we're already invested. I'm not sure where our average is. I think it's like. 150 or something i don't remember okay we were just averaging up so if in the worst case scenario i'm just going to give you the worst case scenario and we'll just close it out here and move on to the next stock right there at about a dollar 53 it's not guaranteed to get that low but if it were to get that low just just have a strategy hopefully you have a strategy before you actually hit that buy button um it's 31 percent down from the current level so that is the kind of the not the worst case scenario because honestly it could get lower than that this stock could go to zero OK, we are invested in the stock, but I just gave you the practical level of the potential previous back test of the previous level of resistance. Let's go ahead and carry on here. So METX has apparently has really embarrassed me. Actually, we actually had a multiple thumbnails and videos on this stock. It's kind of funny, actually. Well, it's not really funny as, as long as you had a strategy and you understood that the two dollars and fifty nine cent level is where you would take your stop loss. Maybe set it like, I don't know, five to ten percent to the downside, maybe like five, seven percent. Right. You would have gotten stopped out of the market and you would have um, at least consider you, you would have minimal minimal loss. Have a strategy. OK, don't listen to me. Let me, let me go over this. Uh, but guys, before you hit that buy button, do not listen to me with these thumbnails on YouTube. Please ignore me. Please unsubscribe if you're taking these videos as financial advice. I truly don't want you to, you know, first of all, point fingers at me. I don't care about the finger pointing. I'm much more concerned about you entering and exiting these markets at lost. OK, with your hard earned capital that truly that 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 that, that does something to me because I've been there. It's a it's a crappy feeling. OK, I don't want that to happen. I truly want you guys to have a strategy before you hit that buy button. OK. All right. So let's go ahead. And, um, so the area that I'm looking at on METX is going to be I know I say that on every video, guys, I'm going to keep saying it. So I don't know if you get get annoyed, but yeah, deal with it. I don't know. Uh, Two dollars and ten cents. That's going to be right here. And uh, yeah, like two dollars and ten cents at that white line there. Um, if it gets below and stays below that level. Ooh, yeah. Ugh. Uh, this stock is also in a downtrend. Remember, most of the stocks that I that I that I'm entering, all of them are in downtrends. So it's a counter trend play. If you don't have experience with counter trend plays, do not follow me. Don't listen to these stocks. Seriously, guys, because I'm always entering an amount that I'm comfortable with losing one hundred percent of the proceeds and hopefully you all are again practicing risk management so let's let's close this one out it's two dollars and ten cents it must stay above that level and then of course the next uh, area would be just overhead the previous level of support which is at two dollars and fifty nine cents uh, from the current level up let's see that it'd be like 
15% to the upside if it bounces from there. If to the downside, it's going to be another 7% from the current level, and that's going to wrap things up for METX. Hopefully, this isn't a long video. Last but not least, this is going to be... Ooh, wow, that's a lot of selling pressure coming into the market. So we're going to close this out with uh, GHSI. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Ticker symbol GHSI. GHSI, hopefully I said that right. Uh, it's going to be right here. Uh, like I'd say, I don't know how deep it's going to be of the retracement. So just in case it gets really deep, I'll just give you the kind of, I don't want to say the worst case scenario because honestly, this, this stock can go to zero. I'm okay with that. I'm not invested in this stock. We are invested in uh, works and METX, but we're not invested in the stock. Remember, guys, we just take requests. We do the videos. We keep it moving, okay? Uh, so let's say the worst case scenario, uh, 46 cents. If it gets that low, then yeah, you got to be prepared for that. All right, I'm not saying it's actually going to get that low, but if it gets that low, I hope you have a strategy, okay? And be uh, not be, um, what is it called? Passive aggressive. It's 32%, 33% to the downside. 46 cents would be the practical level that I would pay attention to if it were to happen. And now if it were to happen, th these are these are weekly candles. And then there's about two more days to close on this weekly candle. If it were to happen this week, mm, I would be a little bit concerned because I don't like to see like these. Let me just see if I can uh, just kind of if you could see like this candle, I don't like to see aggressive sell candles like that. Let me just erase everything. I don't need that, that anymore. You see this aggressive weekly candle like this is a solid sell wall. This means that the, the big players like they're they're pushing uh sell they're selling in this market okay and when you see walls like this it takes time to replenish the market from these sell walls okay so if this continues to kind of you know i don't got go down bleed out whatever you want to call it to 46 cents in two days ooh, that would be an that would be an issue for me because it would truly have to hold that 46 cent level because if it does not hold that level yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm open to any of these stocks going to zero, zero. I'm never like a perma bull saying that, oh, this stock will never go to zero. No, guys, I don't fall in love with stocks. I don't have a, I don't have a relationship with none of these stocks. I barely have a relationship with many people. OK, so 46 cents is the level that it must stay above. If you are invested in GHSI, I hope you have a strategy ready to deploy. This is not a video insinuating that any of these stocks are going to zero. Uh, the way that the stock stocks are setting up for me, it appears that the markets are presenting a buy-in opportunity for a lot of these stocks. So if you're out there getting scared and nervous, you're probably overexposing these markets, and you probably want to cut back on your exposure. This way, you don't, you know, you can sleep at night. I, I get really good sleep at night, guys. I sleep like a baby, and you should be sleeping at night like a baby as well. Okay. So just please be responsible out there. These are the, the three quick updates. I know I put like more snippets of information that's useless information, right? Talking about sleeping good and all that stuff. But I'm I'm, I'm a person, guys. I have a, I have a personality and, you know, I'm, I'm very cool and collect when the markets are like going down because I know what I'm looking at. I'm never freaking out or overexposing myself, scrambling, trying to ask somebody what's going on. So I, I truly want everyone to be positioned in the market like that as well. Just kind of cool, collect like, OK, yeah, whatever. It's down 50%. Okay, yeah, I'm prepared. Whatever, right? So that's it. We'll cut it out here. Uh, I won't take any more of your time. Thank you for that. Uh, before you go, if you're new, we also cover the alternative markets. I'm not sure if you're into Bitcoin and altcoins, but we actually cover that. So subscribe with us. Hit the bell. We'll send you that information when it's available. Um, I think we covered everything. Yes, good. Out we go. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. Execute your strategies. We're going to talk soon. Bye for now, guys.